Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to sideload an application onto your Android device. In my case, we're going to use my trusty Acer Iconia A100 tablet. Um, but this, of course, will work for any number of the Android devices that are out there. Um, now, I'm going to show you the quickest method to go ahead and get that application onto your device. Um, and what you want to do is go to your applications excuse me let me center this go to your applications and go to your browser and once you go to your browser we want to go to the address bar and we're going to type in the name of the application that you want to install on your device in this case the viewer actually wanted to install Uvu onto their device so once you type in the name of the application which is Uvu O O V O O. You're going to put a space and then type in the letters A P K. And what A P Ks are is actually the um, executable uh, application file format that the Android OS uses. So we're going to press go. And I've done this a couple of times, as you can see with the purple. Uh, um, lettering of the uh, websites. Um, in this case I'm going to go ahead and use for shared but you can go to XDA developers, um, uh, Filecrop and there's a number of other places that you can go ahead and use to get this application. So I'm going to press on the link that I like which is foreshared.com and when it comes up in this case it I simply click download now. Um, for other sources it can instantly download to your device um, so just so you know it can be different to each website that you go to um, but just follow the directions pretty much um, that it's going to set forth. Now here is asking us because I have a slow, slow down I'm going to do the slow download method because I don't belong to this site. I haven't um, signed up for a membership or anything. So we're going to uh, wait here and then once that time is up because it usually asks you to wait we're going to go ahead and click download file now and you can see starting download and in your notification bar in your notification bar you'll see here and then of course it'll look different on your device but it'll go ahead and show download complete and it'll give the name of the APK file now we can go ahead and click on this immediately but one thing you want to make sure that you have done is go to your settings on your phone or device um, go to settings, go to applications, and you want to make sure that unknown sources right here is checked. And I'm sorry that the camera's blurry. Um, I haven't bought a a uh, dedicated camera in a very long time, so I'm sorry that it's blurry. But you want to make sure that that's checked. Once that's checked, from your notification bar you'll see that is the download is complete now you can click on it from here or if it isn't present in your notification bar you go to your applications and the Android OS provides a download a link to your download folder you click that and as you can see it comes up with the uh, download sorted by date and there is the application right here. So we click that and then as you can see it brings up this listing right here. I'm sorry that it is blurry but I can't help that. Anyway we would just press install that's right there and as you can see it starts to install, install the application and now you can just open it or just click done if you don't want to open it at that time and now it will appear in your applications just like any application that is downloaded from Android Market 
Now if you don't want to go ahead and do it with this method, which as I said, I think that's the quick and me quickest method, um, you can download it onto your computer and it's pretty much the same thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. You would go to your address bar and type in the name of the application you want to install with the space then APK and hit enter. You would go to the file source that you want like for share and go through the same method the very same method that I went through on the Android device itself but the difference is is that you're gonna need to put that file onto your storage onto your phone whether that be just the phone storage or an SD card a micro SD card that you have installed to your phone in that case you're gonna need to do have a couple of things. You're going to need a micro USB cord to connect your phone to your computer. Now in some cases you might need a driver for your computer to recognize that phone but we won't go into that right now. Um, and usually when you connect it, if it works, it's going to connect as if it's a just a storage device if it's a, a um, if it goes pretty smoothly. And in that case you would navigate to that to that drive uh, letter and you would drag and drop the source file over to your SD card or micro SD card slot into the folders that you wanted to or just to your download folder which, wherever you like it but just remember where you put it. Um, and then drag and drop it over to your micro SD card slot put it back in your phone you might need a file manager in this case if you didn't put it in your downloads folder to navigate through all the different folders on your micro SD card um, you also could go ahead and get these little adapters um, that you can slide your as micro SD card into these and connect them to your computer that way and drag and drop the files as well so there's a couple of different ways you can go ahead and do it um, but the key points is make sure you have um, unknown sources checked in your application um, menu selection um, and then put it on your micro SD card uh, where you want it be able to find it and then just click on it just like any other file on your device and it should go ahead and install just like you saw right here so I hope that was pretty clear I, I, I sincerely do but if you have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comment section and I will address them as soon as I can if I need to make another video we can make another video um, until then you guys hopefully you'll thumbs up this uh, video and subscribe and if even if you're not subscribed you can go ahead and ask your questions and maybe I can make a video on something that you have a concern with but until then I hope you all have a great day and take care